So I'm not saying machines are bad. Machines are a way to avoid injuries and have trackable volume that you can increase easily. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907 Keep on code Russo. ASMR Spritz, Intelligent Elephant Cobalt. Here are your noises. All other discounts located in the pinned comment below. Today, I'm going to be doing a rant and really looking for input from my older followers on the sense of is machines or free weights better? More importantly, is free weight, lack of free weights, really causing a change in the physiques we see today? because so many people are switching towards machine work and neglecting those stabilizers. So my question is like, when I watch the old school bodybuilders, like back in my day, the physiques looked better. We didn't do the machines. We did dumbbells and barbells. That's all we needed. And you can argue a point that they had crispier, more aesthetically pleasing physiques than they do today. Obviously the drug amounts have changed and peptides have really come into the game and really fucked with IGF-1, which fucks with the look of muscles versus these smaller, more aesthetic bodybuilders really only utilizing steroids and maybe GH. The game has changed in that sense, but it's really changed in the way people avoid injuries. So I'm not saying machines are bad. Machines are a way to avoid injuries and have trackable volume that you can increase easily and arguably on steroids does it really matter can your body tell if you're doing like an easy leg you know press machine or if you're squatting as far as the quad stimulus goes no but as far as the cns stimulation it's drastically different having your central nervous system having to fire everything with a barbell squat versus not nearly as much with something like the leg press machine. Does this compound over time and lead towards a change in the physiques? In my opinion, yes. This is really a mistake I see with people who go into the gym is they're afraid of these compound movements. They're afraid of these free weight movements and they stick to the machines because it's safer. You can load up the plates really easily on most of these machines, make yourself feel like real strong, but are you neglecting all that stabilizer work? And is that stabilizer work truly what creates the physique? Because each day you do all that CNS work, as long as your CNS can recover, it auto adapts each day back to normal. You add in enhancement steroids, it adapts faster. And would that yield a different physique than doing all machines? I will then go into the other paradigm of Dexter Jackson, the longest IFBB pro open bodybuilder ever, the most aesthetic pleasing physique for years as far as the top five in open bodybuilding always came in immaculate condition and if you watch dexter's training i'll have andrew throw up pictures of dexter dexter really stuck towards machines and you could argue that avoided him injury where someone of andrew threw up ronnie coleman went towards free weights in my opinion ronnie coleman had a better physique because his body had to adapt to all that crazy free weight shit at such heavy amounts with volume that can continually increased his physique i think got to that peak you know status of like has anyone touched the prime ronnie coleman in my opinion no no one's touched him yet but it feels like the reason why no one's touched him is because he was so insane with the freeway training that's what got him that extra one two percent at the top that's so hard to get right they're all taking tons of drugs they all have amazing genetics they all have amazing grooves they all have perfect you know thousand dollar diets and all this shit and ronnie was still inching them out does that come down to his abuse of free weights and the aftermath of all his back surgeries and everything now he was predisposed to that but those free weight movements that he claimed he needed to do which i kind of agree with has destroyed his longevity after the sport where someone like dexter jackson who was always mostly top two obviously won it in 2008 he can still walk, still has a crazy good TRT physique, and overall had a much longer career, overall collected more stage time, and he's always in the top two. It was never a point of like, Dexter never really fell off. He was able to maintain his physique forever. He truly had the most craziest longevity-based career, but 
he never came close to Ronnie. And is that the difference you see at the top pinnacle level of bodybuilding training is this obsessive, you know, lean towards abusing the CNS because the CNS can hyper adapt on the steroids versus let's avoid injury. It's very hard to judge when you're on this much steroids, how hard you can push it heavy wise and tearing a pec, tearing a rotator cuff, tearing a tricep is going to potentially end your career and or having tons of back problems from constantly having to balance these extreme weights for extreme amounts of volume constantly that could be avoided by using machines but you see it reflected in the physiques at the pinnacle level because we're talking about the 0.0001 percent genetics which is dexter and ronnie and you can see how dexter's longevity played out to his advantage you could argue that ronnie's crazy training style led to him being the goat and no one has touched his physique in my opinion rammy's come like close but in my opinion the peak ronnie versus the peak rammy i just feel like my eyes would go to ronnie honestly i'm not talking shit on rammy that he doesn't know how to train or anything but i do kind of believe that because if you watch ronnie's training videos while well, andrew like threw up a little clip of that like always really pushing extreme free weights always not afraid to get heavy and really push that cns hard that could be something that is holding back the general person in the gym from progressing farther. Stay away from the machines, learn how to balance free weights, build up your central nervous system, then go back to machines after for hypertrophy once you build the free weights, free compound movements first, scale your volume, then the chase a pump on the machines. Do not rely on the machines. Even if you're a pro relying on the machines, seems to have some sort of impact not pushing your CNS as hard. I'll see you guys in my next video.